Crusaders of the Lost Mark was about the Cutie Mark Crusaders realizing that their purpose in life was helping others understand what makes them special. But that lesson was only the beginning of understanding what your talent is. As you go forward from there, many questions will arise as to how you'll implement that talent as well as why. Without a doubt, there will be times when we need our friends and times when we need to go out on our own. How we handle these situations will be the difference of us abandoning our life's purposes or learning the same lessons that Apple Bloom learned during On Your Mark. It's important to remember that you, as a person, are a versatile and multifaceted individual. Therefore, you are not limited to one talent. Neither are your talents limited to one application. The Cutie Mark Crusaders have a talent for helping others figure out the meaning of their special talents. But this ability is geared towards problem solving within a certain context, thus creating a lot of downtime. If you should find yourself in this situation, do not allow yourself to be idle during that downtime, lest your talents become rusty and useless for when they're needed. Additionally, you'll risk losing the motivation and passion that's needed to practice and implement that talent in the first place. The best thing to do is to find a way to sharpen your skills even if you're not actively using them. With a little bit of creative thinking, I can almost guarantee that you'll be able to find a hobby where you can use your talents indirectly. From there, you can expand yourself and find new talents and skills to add on to it. Sweetie Belle and Scootaloo used their downtime to learn crochet and bungee jumping respectively. Then when the time came to utilize their purpose for tender taps, they had the skills necessary to help. This demonstrated an ability that everybody has even if they don't realize it. The ability to apply a single talent to a variety of situations or relate other fields of study to your base talent. But this ability is not going to come naturally for most people. No, it requires multi-dimensional thinking, which is often a skill that has to be learned through immersing yourself in a variety of situations and finding how they connect. Apple Bloom initially defined herself by having only one talent with only one application which required her friends to be by her side. When this wasn't the case, she feared for her purpose. While trying to fill the gap that this created, she became blind to the world around her and was unable to realize that Tender Taps needed her help. If you never try to expand your talents, you'll find yourself in this situation a lot and miss many opportunities that are just like this. And apart from missing opportunities to help others, you'll also miss new opportunities to make new friends. There's no reason to be afraid of trying something new. If you can find a way to apply your base talent to it, you'll probably pick it up quickly. But even if you don't, you'll probably have fun anyway as long as you give it an honest chance. It's just like Sweetie Belle said, just because you're not good at something doesn't mean you won't enjoy it. The same way she enjoyed failing at her crocheting, or the same way that I enjoyed failing at capoeira for the first two years of my college life. But if you enjoy something, you'll be much more likely to stick with it, thus giving you more chances to improve and apply those skills elsewhere in life. Conversely, as Scootaloo had said, just because you're good at something doesn't mean you'll enjoy it. This can relate to what Apple Bloom was going through and misunderstanding the social aspect of the things that she was trying, or it can be as simple as having a talent that you're halfway decent at but not passionate about enough to try pursuing it full time, or it may mean that you have a talent that you're good at but the context for using it is unpleasant. The important thing is that you at least give an honest effort to expanding your horizons, both for yourself as well as your friends. Because as I can attest, pursuing hobbies by yourself gets boring and will only allow you to progress so far. Eventually, we will need the support of friends in what we do in order to find those creative ways to apply what we know to various situations. All the same, those that we care about will eventually need us to be there for them within their talents and passions. Just like how the Cutie Mark Crusaders helped Tender Taps with his dancing. Or just like in any other episode where one of the main six stepped out of their base talents to help each other with theirs. Through this, we can teach each other the things that we've learned while pursuing our own interests. Then all we have to do is remember that friends having different hobbies is not a reason that they can no longer be friends. When Apple Bloom realized this, as well as how to creatively apply different skill sets to her own talent, she was able to utilize her passion for helping others to its fullest potential, and Tender Taps realized his own passions as a result. If we can apply these concepts to expand our horizons, then we can do the same. And that's the moral of the story.
If you have anything you would like to hear discussed or reviewed, you can drop your suggestions by following Brawny Buck on Tumblr or sending an email to bronydebates at gmail.com. Feel free to check out my Patreon to see how you can support my channel and what you'll get in return. This video was sponsored by Irish John's Short Films and Animations, as well as all of my other generous supporters. Have a great day, and I look forward to hearing from all of you soon.